Hey, it's me. I don't even know if people know me. <laughs> Why am I saying this? So, uh, I decided to uh, play uh, old an old game that I used to love when I was younger. I don't know, maybe out of nostalgia or something. But here we are playing uh, How to Raise a Dragon. I think this came before How to Train Your Dragon movie. This came first, I believe. But either way, either way, I still love it. It's good. I love the movies. I love this game. It's very like I don't know. I'm just gonna play. I'm so awkward. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Crack the egg. Nice. I wonder if I wanna. How do I? Oh, there we go. Uh, hatchlings. Dragons hatch alone. They are not brooding creatures. This is possible because of the high degree of autonomy of newly hatched dragons. Unlike human babies, hatchling dragons can fend for themselves. While their wings are still vestigial, vestigial they can chase down and consume food without assistance and are capable of defending themselves against predators. By XR Killium Magus. Click Z. <gasps> oh wait, I remembered it. This gives me color, but I, I think I want to black. I want to be black. I want to be green. I want to be black. I want to be blue. Emotion. What, what am I saying? I want to be blue. I haven't done anything yet. Okay. Coloration. A dragon's scales can take on almost any color in the rainbow. Contrary to popular folklore, the color of the dragon has little to do with the dragon's temperament or abilities. The color of a dragon's scales depends entirely on the food it eats when it's still ha a hatchling. It is unclear what causes the dragon to prefer one food over another. It may be simply be a matter of personal preference by the same guy who said the earlier thing. I want to be a blue dragon, but don't you think it'd be awesome to be like, how do I jump, 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 be like this dark looming giant dragon in the future but since I am ocean at the moment I'm gonna eat okay, wait, how do I eat oh this is jump B is it <gasps> I'm blue how do I make myself like lighter right. I think I'm supposed to eat one of every color Ooh. I'm pink why am I I mean purple no this is not going to plan I'm gray. Look at me. I, wa I want it to be blue, but I'm gray. Down Z. There we go. Wait, what's the blue thing there? What? I want to be red. If I eat that, I'll be pink, I guess. I want to be blue. Blue. No, how do I jump again? I keep forgetting. No. Jesus. No, I. <laughs> there we go. What is this color? Platinum. Jump, 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 to jump, jump. Ah, I'm gonna be purple again if I eat you. Maybe I could be a lighter. <laughs> what is happening? It's a kids' game and I'm struggling by a color. I'm so sorry for anyone who's watching this. <laughs> Drink water. I'm thirsty. No, 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 no. Uh, I guess that could work. Oh, oh, oh. No. Come on. Let me eat you. No, 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 no. no. Uh, no more blue creatures. You're red. I want. Oh no. <laughs> I'm a lavender colored dragon. <laughs> Capturing a dragon. When still a hatchling, a dragon can be captured with relative ease using cleverness or magic. The benefits of captive dragon are many. As magical creatures, even their droppings are useful in magic <laughs> magical <laughs> rituals. The ethics of holding captive a sentient creature are, of course, questionable, as is the wisdom of keeping such a creature for too long. <laughs> 
Well, I know if I'm a dragon, I'd be purple. Adolescence. Oh, look. I've been there. After several years, the newly born dragon will have grown considerably. It will be it will be as tall as a human being and will be and will have achieved I'm so sorry, I can't read them dumb. Achieved great deal of strength and intelligence. A captive adolescent is not likely to stay captive for very long. The wings of an adolescent are not developed enough for true flight. Huh? But they are able to provide some lift. Allowing the dragon to extend the height and length of its jumps. There we go. No. No! Oh, there we go. Double jump. Breath powers. Oof. <laughs> the most distinctive ability of the dragon is the breath power. Dragons can channel magic through their mouths to cause amazing effects. Searing fire, healing mist, or even a burst of water and magic that can cause plants to grow with incredible speed. Each dragon only has a single breath ability. Okay. And it seems to be determined by the dragon's diet. As an adolescent, some dragons lack any breath ability at all, perhaps due to insufficient nutrition. Aww. I want breath. Oh wait, I remember this. I need... No, 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 no. There's no water in here if I remember correctly. But there is fire. Oh, that's not water. I don't want to heal people. Although I can... No, nah, never mind. Uh, hello? Oh, there we go. Fire. Uh, what if I eat one of each? Uh, maybe fire. I'll go for fire first. Not that anyone would actually ask me to do another playthrough. Using another breath. Breath! Another power. A tree. No. No, no, no. A tree. Fire. Come on. Two more, two more. Hello? What is that? Books, skulls, helmets. The home is actually kind of cozy. Kind of like giving those Minecraft vibes. Oh no, I fell. Oh no, no, no. Oh wait, this is the. <gasps> Sorry, the game's lagging. What? The game lags. Sorry. I'm gonna stop. So I'm looking for the, the other. What is up there? I don't remember much about the game. Hello? Is anyone here? Okay. Let's see. Oh, I don't have breath. <gasps> I'm gonna fire you. And everything else. I'm so sorry, that's dark. So looking for the other fire power. I do like the couch. Not a bad couch, not bad, bad looking couch. Oh, I can escape here via fire. If I remember correctly. Come on, give me fire. No, that's not fire. There we go. One more, one more. Woo, 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 woo. Sorry. There we go. Jump and eat. Jump eat. Hello? No! No! I wanted to. Ah! Oh man. Okay. I'll kill him later. Jump now. <laughs> Fire breath. Fire breath is the. Oh, I, I thought I was already done escaping. I haven't yet. So it's discussing what my breath is. Sorry. I'm dumb. Why am I dumb? Fire bed is the minds of peasantry. The most memorable of a dragon's abilities. By producing flammable gases within its stomach and lighting them with a special gland on the roof of their mouth, the dragon can produce a flame hot enough to incinerate most anything in its path. But what if I eat this? No, 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 I am not evil, by the way. Maybe you guys think. Oh shit, this guy's bad. Ha 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 ha. I'm not. I'm good. See? I'm so sorry. I feel bad now. You have captured me all my life. And you fed me. 
to be as tall as a, a man or something something that the guy in the description said but I did not deserve to be captured do you hear me <laughs> goodbye well, he died immediately yes that's how powerful my breaths are now, in real life though I love to brush my teeth I wish not to <laughs> I should stop sorry sorry if the British accent is so bad I shall escape escape there are no known cases of captive dragons being kept past late adolescence. The dragon is too intelligent. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait, no. Okay, what? And strong willed to be held in captivity. Once its body is. and mind develop past human levels. The luckiest captors simply awake one day to find their pets missing. The less fortunate receive object lessons in the consequences of crossing dragons. Okay. I'm big now! No longer a man sized dragon. Like burned. Adulthood. Ah, here we are. Adulthood. <laughs> Much like me. Oh man. An adult dragon is at least half a century. I am not half a century in age, okay? Never mind. Several stories tall and capable of eating cow or human in a bite. Cruel dragons will often land on humans, <laughs> killing them. I do not remember any of this. An adult dragon can soar to the sky by flapping its wings or glide by holding them out. A newly adult dragon must first find a home. Good homes are secure locations with a view of the nearby land. One can always tell when a dragon has chosen a new home. It will rest motionless in a spot for a time. Quilliam what are you on when you st can't eat them? Wow, why? I want to eat them. Holding not for oh, okay. Glide. Wh no. Ah. Well, now you know I'm stupid. I. I want to take my anger out on you. I want to feel bad doing this. I'm so sorry. In your honor. I shall burn your ashes. Oh my god, it burns so fast. Hello, goodbye. Don't mind me. I'm just going. I gave the dra uh, Should I end your misery or something? No. Goodbye then. How do I, I keep pressing space? To jump? Nope. Should I be? Oh, no, 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 no. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I can go further. Dead soldiers. Oh my god. Can I eat them? No, eat. Oh, barbecue them first. <gasps> then eat them. <laughs> I did eat them. Mm, barbecued humans. So I gave the dragon a British accent. Despite knowing that my British accent is terrible. Terrible. Sorry, I must stop. Okay, so the dragon is eating the. Oh, he's protecting his boyfriend. I am so sorry, sir. I respect that. How about you, huh? guy doesn't look like your boyfriend there we go oh, I'ma live here Rec <laughs> reclusive watcher oh this is like the different endings uh, it's like a visual novel the watcher is most mysterious of dragons it does little harm little harm the humans and contents itself with staying away from all civilization. These dragons are really regarded, I mean rarely regarded as threats to civilization. They only occasionally cause damage to human settlements and will often only hurt humans who attempt to attack them. The heroes who attempt to destroy these dragons are typically motivated by personal fame rather than protecting civilization. <gasps> Those bad, bad heroes. Oh, I'm the hero. <laughs> I'm doing this for fame. No, no joke. The hero. Oh, I like that flute. For every dragon, there is a single human capable of posing a threat. This hero or heroine. Oh, I take that. Seems to have a link of destiny with the dragon. Sometimes the hero is a warrior who sets out to destroy the dragon. Alternately, 
the hero may decide to befriend the dragon and work by its side. The hero may even be sent to pay tribute to a draconic tyrant. Just like dragons, heroes can be good or evil. They, they're not heroes if they're evil though. Okay, I mean, never mind. It's good writing, I like that. They are recognizable only by their tremendous strength. Jesus Christ, how strong am I? Considering I can jump as high as a tree, I probably must have strong legs. Should I... What is this? Is this gold? This is gold! I did not know that! When I was younger, I thought this was oil. Like, hello dragon, I have oil for your fire powers. So do I... If the dragon's a watcher, maybe he'd like a friend. I have fr I have flower friend. What's this? No. Hello, sir. Are you the son of the one who died when the dragon was a young adult? Oh, never mind. You're probably the grandson at this point. Hello, sir, ma'am. Hello, sir, ma'am, sir, ma'am, sir, sir, ma'am, ma'am. Hello, ma'am, ma'am, ma sir, sir, sir. <gasps> Are you the guys who were boyfriends earlier? Oh my God. Or maybe like. You're old now? I don't know. Why am I saying this? Are those crosses behind me? What the hell? Hello, hello, sir, sir, sir. Hello, hello. Hello. I'm super strong. My legs can jump over a castle. Can you do that? No. I'm a warrior. I'm a hero. Hello, sir. <laughs> I am so sorry. People who watch this are probably either asleep or alre already left. I am so sorry. Didn't I eat you earlier? I mean the dragon eat you earlier. Am I a girl? I have back hair. Oh my god, I'm a girl. Hello. I it is I, the heroine. Who will be Wait, what? No 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 no. What? Oh I took something. Uh, what? Oh there we go. Okay. Maybe it's this for I have no idea what's happening. Uh please, please don't be mad. I, 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 flower. Oh, what? I'm so sorry. I did not know you hate flowers. Maybe this is oil or money. I don't know. Looks like oil. I don't want to hurt you. I want to be friends. Come on. I raised you. Well, more like the person who's controlling me at the moment. Here. <laughs> friends? Are you friends? Okay. He, no he nodded. He, she, I don't know. They, them. The dragon nodded. Friendship. With the proper gifts and greetings, a hero can befriend a dragon. The partner partnership thus formed is strong. As is as strong a bond as family or marriage. <gasps> I'm married to a dragon. I'm Kobayashi's uh, ancestor. I don't know. A hero and the dragon will fight for each other and serve as constant companions. Aww. Such a partnership between two dissimilar beings is special. The greatest deeds in history were done by heroes paired with dragons. And I would venture that there is no more powerful force on earth. By XR Killiam Magus. Aww. So that means uh, if you don't want to die, don't capture a dragon when it's still a hatchling. And if you want to live, capture, I mean, befriend the dragon when it's like uh, a hundred years more your age. I don't know. Maybe I am a girl. Look, it's, it has she. I don't know, he. Yeah, guys can have long hair too, eh? I will now call you me. Mini me. And dragon me. Wait, what? Anyway, uh, I don't know what this is. I just felt like recording myself playing a game I used to like and I don't know if anyone is gonna watch but that's okay I enjoyed playing the game uh, thank you to the creator Gregory why where why where I don't know and when I said that this came out before the uh, how to drain your dragon I did not know what exactly the truth is, I am so sorry if it did not came before How to Train Your Dragon movies. The books, I don't know, but this is one of my favorite games and I'm glad I get to play it and record it again. I may have been a little bit stupid with the color uh, and actually the whole thing, maybe. Uh, I, I don't know, I just played the way I someone you would play it. I, don't, I haven't played the game in so long. 
I remember playing it when I was young and I really liked the game. Up until now, I still like it. The writing, I appreciate it more now that I'm older. And so yeah, that's it. I don't, I don't have an intro. I mean, outro. Oh God, why? Why? So I just checked, this was published on June 25, 2009. And How to Train Your Dragon came out. Come on, come on. Let me click you. Ah, everything is lagging. 2010! I was right, I was right. Okay, I can I can die. No, I don't want to die yet. Maybe, but what? Hey, yay! I mean, yay. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, like I said, I don't have an outro. Thank you! Bye!